The original Danish movie has such a huge fan base. Julianne, can you talk a little bit about why Bart decided to reinvent the movie and also reverse the genders of the main roles? Well, when he was uh, approached to to do an American adaptation of the film, I think that's what he thought first. He was like, he was like, well, why would I? You know, Suzanne Beers has made such a beautiful, compelling film. Why would I do this? You know, how would I? How do I tell this story in a way that that retains the essence? Um, of its beautiful emotional truth, but also offer something else. And so I think when they when they came when they sort of happened on the idea of this of this gender flip, we realized that we would be able to tell the story in a in a different way, equally compelling. But when you have it's it's not just a simple like well let's just make them women. I mean you really actually have to change a lot of plot points. And there are there are decisions that people have made when the characters are female that are quite deliberate and really, really conscious where they're unconscious in, in the original Danish film. So that to us was really interesting. And then for me, getting to play this character who is so, um, who's built so much of her own life, who's built this huge business, you know, from the ground up, who's been wildly successful, cares about that business and her employees at the same time has built an enormous personal life, you know, with a marriage and children and, and um, and some people that she loves very, very deeply. I was so I was intrigued by that because you often don't get to play a woman who's so who's so represented so fully. This movie makes us think about who we are, the individuality of the human condition, the complexity of our interhuman relationships, and the consequences of our actions. Was that also what attracted you to this project? Yeah, because I think that's you know ultimately we are interdependent. We aren't. Mm -hmm independent we are interdependent our happiness and our lives depend on the our family members and the people that we work with and 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 Teresa is a character who really really cares about about the people around her so I I, I love that. That's the kind of drama that I find most heart-stopping. Not like, are they going to get the microchip? You know, I think in that that to me, I'm like, eh, whatever, a car chase. But 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 when there's that sort of that that idea of people touching and affecting one another's lives, you know, that's that's why I go to the movies. Well, it really touches the core of you. It gets mm. to you. You can relate to that right. on such an incredible level. Could you tell the story of how the script found its way to Michelle? Oh yes, yeah. I emailed her. I did it. I did it myself. I mean, we were. I can remember where I was. I was sitting at my. I have, I have a desk in a little room in our house, and Bart was standing in the doorway, and I and I said, we were talking about Michelle and whether or not she would do it, and maybe she wouldn't do it. And I said, listen. I said, this is Michelle. Who you want? Is this who you want? You know, in the movie. And he was like, yep. I said, then I'm emailing her, and I had her email from another list, and I just dug it up, and I went straight to her, and she responded right away. How important were the contrasting locations to telling this story? Well, I think you get so much production value when you shoot in a place like New York City as well as India. I mean, they're both spectacular, spectacular locations that really tell a story visually. So I, and they're so representative, I think, of who these women are that you see that you feel like, like Teresa is the kind of person who would live in New York, who does live in that kind of cacophonous, um, ambitious, industrious place, and and India has so much innate spirituality and beauty that that really seemed to be it's it's so suited you know Isabel's character. We were very fortunate to have those beautiful locations. And finally, what would you like audiences to take away with them after they've seen this movie? I think it's really about how important we are to one another. How that ultimately, no matter what you've whatever you've done in your life, it's really about who you've who you've interacted with and who you've touched and, and who you've loved as a human being. Well, thank you so much for your time. We thank really you. appreciate Thanks it. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey you guys, huh? Hey you guys. Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey.